DNA testing is an exact science, and because of that, the services provided by the Forensic Biology section of the Division of Forensic Sciences are in great demand. Test results can link a suspect to a crime or exonerate the accused. But before scientists can do their part, samples must be collected and stored properly. Here are a few guidelines in preserving the integrity of DNA evidence. Items submitted for testing that contain bodily fluids must be dried prior to transport to the lab. They also need to be packaged in paper bags to allow for continuous airflow. Plastic bags promote bacterial growth and degradation of the specimen. In rape cases, use a GBI-approved Sexual Assault Evidence Collection Kit. These can be directly ordered from the manufacturer. Also, keep in mind that with rape cases, all known samples must be submitted to include any consensual partners the victim may have had within 72 hours of the incident. Before DNA testing can begin, known samples must be submitted. Known samples may be buckle swabs or blood. A known blood sample must be placed in purple, stoppered test tubes. All knowns must be labeled with the donor name, date and time of collection, and the name of the individual who took the sample. Remember, known samples cannot be cigarettes, band-aids, or other personal effects confiscated for purpose of comparison. This section also performs DNA testing on all incarcerated convicted felons and some probationers. DNA profiles are added to a DNA database, or CODIS, Combined DNA Index System, to search and solve cases. CODIS is operated on a local, state, and federal level. Searches are performed on a routine basis, so there is no need to request this service. If a match is identified to an unsolved case, the agency is notified via telephone, report, and letter. One final note, always put safety first. All sharp items, such as knives and glass shards, should be packaged in a way that prevents the container from being pierced. Proportionately sized cardboard boxes, like this one, work well. Remember to label the package, Sharp Item, in bold lettering. For the most up-to-date information or answers to any questions this presentation did not address, please call the Regional Crime Laboratory serving your area or go to the GBI Division of Forensic Sciences website.